Hi everyone, it's been a while. Last we met, I informed you fine ladies and fine genitals about how my Patreon got deleted and how it's pretty much killing my channel at this point. But then I got an email saying my call for help video got age restricted making sure that the least number of people possible get to find out what's happening to my channel. Naturally, age restriction is just yet another factor which nowadays restricts your video's outreach and views, all which qualify my channel for a golden shower. At this point, I feel like uh, we're mostly dealing with grief pornography. And age restricting it really doesn't make any sense given that it's a completely non-controversial call for help video. And then, just a few days ago, they sent me even more emails telling me that my members only blooper videos got age restricted, even though they are just completely silly drunken shenanigans about um, nothing. It's like they're really trying to search for some kind of technicality they can get you on, so to be honest, I'm kind of feeling personally attacked. Almost as if there are some sort of oppressive, invisible, social structures that are discriminating against foreigners, such as myself. So now I'm left with the conclusion that jokes are illegal and flashbacks to former communist Yugoslavia. It's funny to think back on our getting off journey across the years and remember the time everyone was freaking out about Article 13 and how it's gonna be the end of the internet? Yeah. The current state of social media is worse than anything Article 13 could have done. Speaking of which, I've been thinking about why my Patreon got deleted, since I never got a response or explanation from them, despite several emails probing the decision to assassinate my wallet. So here's what I concluded. I suspect that my latest video on Ukraine might have been the nail in the coffin for Patreon. Since I'm really confused as to what they actually mean with you're a bad person because you're stereotyping people. I mean, that's a weird reason to delete a majority of my monthly income, especially given I've been really careful not to stereotype. Because I'm fully aware you're not allowed to be funny anymore. YouTube, Patreon, Facebook, etc. are clearly leftist platforms, and what the left always does, and have always done as a tactic, is that they take your jokes and your emotional arguments and your rhetorical exaggerations, and they pretend you're being serious rather than cheeky. Leftists are looking for a social clique, not a good and stable ideology, and so that's why they'll always duck and cower away from being challenged on their positions. The long-term effect of this socialist archetype being that colorful argumentation is now hate speech on the global market square of opinions. Because satire is a language that the AI doesn't understand, and AI can't distinguish English joke from hate, which I guess only speaks to how robotic these soulless, fun-hating NPCs truly are. If your average leftist can be distinguished from a machine, well, it certainly speaks to why they're always useful idiots. Family-friendly algorithms programmed by liberals will so obviously guarantee the death of fun, the death of conversation, and the death of opportunity for people to truly connect. So I started thinking about how bad everything has become in terms of democracy and the public conversation. Now, the fundamental law of the physics of censorship dictates it starts with someone else and never ends with you. In fact, on the internet, you can find inspirational quotes about this law of nature. True story. So we've now finally reached a tipping point where even leftists are being censored by the monster that they've helped create, with anything from feminist groups being shadow banned on Facebook, mainstream media journalists getting social justice warnings for sharing their own papers' articles, popular anti-American commie streamers Vosh and Hassan getting banned from Twitch when they say nasty words refer 
referring to white people. H3H3 getting his sponsors taken away after he made way too many uncomfortable jokes about gay people in front of his now far-left audience. The list can be made long and ironically hilarious. So of course, this would probably apply to me too, wouldn't it? Like when I released my Ukraine video full of memes about Swedes that are so true they're just funny with a lot of data to support that wacky stereotypization that's going on as always. I suspect that this might be why Patreon did what they did since it's now clear that white people aren't allowed to make fun of other white people even when those white people are gangbanging their country apart to the point where I'm gonna have to become a refugee once again. Point being, I can't recall making fun of anyone's culture as much as the Swedish one in, well, maybe the past year or so, and especially in this video. The toxicity of structural socialism is what brought about my perilous encounter with Satan's flaming cock. Eager and red as the communist flag. But as always, that's just a mere suspicion of mine, and an update on what's been happening in regards to this channel's future. I am now a hardened man who can no longer stay hard. In my defense, smelly as it may be, I might act like a tough and impenetrable creature, but... I am not an animal! I do actually respect the guidelines, and I work hard to adapt my work after the current climate. I tried to play by the rules, but that's also exactly what's so frustrating and confusing about this, because you, the progressive tech giants, made it clear that white people do not matter. According to you, you make it seem white people don't matter until the very last second when there's been backlash over political censorship, putting your company revenues in danger, at which point white people do matter, only as a swinging bat to try and present yourself as neutral, when it's already been made clear you prefer one group of radicals and extremists to the other. Now, I'm neither a radical nor an extremist, I'm just a guy who's not constipated. So it's sad how they seem to want everyone stressed out and scared all the time, enough not to speak their mind, because then you end up being wrongfully categorized into either of those categories. So I guess my question to the Truth Ministry of Content Moderators would be, is it really reasonable to just keep expanding that cancelling list of yours with a philosophy of never-ending growth? Adding more and more ethnicities to some sacred book of protected groups? To the point where I can't even speak up against the country I'm living in, its culture, and its government. Now, we've just really reached a full circle of can't say shit about anything. And so obviously this channel is hanging on by a loose Fred. I hope I get enough followers on my donation sites over the next months and enough funding to get it to a stable monthly level so I can make way more videos. But anything can happen. I don't know if this channel will remain profitable and I also don't know if they're gonna invent suddenly a new reason to start banning channels like mine out of the blue. But I will keep babbling so long as someone's getting me tipsy. And those who want to support me can find links in the video description to Subscribestar, a very dear site that I strongly condone, and Ko-Fi, where you can use PayPal. I also have locals, crypto wallets, and etc. Check out the video description and all the info is there. So I'm just gonna make videos about um, anything now. Not just politics, since YouTube obviously isn't for spreading awareness and sharing yourself. <laughs> and discussing ideas anymore. They got rules against that now. So uh, we're just gonna have to make it more about this being some sort of weird cult where we all just gather to get off. Really depending on where I point and yell at the moment.
It might sound weird, but I am committed to getting off so long as you are. And the best, no, really the only way to actually follow me is by using my newsletter. It goes right to your email with phone notification. Link is in the video description. Please check it out if you want to know when videos and future book projects get published. Substack is far better than YouTube. I consider this my official backup now, since all my newsletters exist as published articles as well. All in the same place, and I can use embedding from various sites to gather all my works here, no matter what happens with YouTube. But not unless you allow it to slide right into your slots mail gash. You're gonna have to allow me to chuck it in your gash. Since YouTube is the site that has mysteriously deleted 20,000 of my subscribers over the years, while I also shadow banned my channel right as it was picking up steam, and decided to age restrict a ton of old shit on random, kind of like an abusive husband who just doesn't feel like being patient when the eggs aren't made when he comes home from work. Cook the man some fucking eggs. Don't yourself, Jake! Since some people define solidarity as beating the shit out of someone and expecting them to take it. Well, here's the thing right here, buddy. You commies tried pounding my asshole. And that's not, just not very smart strategy-wise, since I have the anatomy of a well-experienced trucker. I shit three times a day, okay? So it's all beamed up back there, all thanks to Kellogg's All Brand. No joke, no sponsorship, this guy shits. So this guy is not deterred by turd. Oh no, you can't scare him away with scary, sloppy, messy, psycho. Maybe even downright illegal, it doesn't matter, you... He's used to it. You can't pound my asshole because I'll just clinch up and frost poop you up. You should know better than to wrestle with a pig. And you should also know well enough to get your CBD products at CannabisLight.se, the finest CBD store in Europe. Today's sponsor and the company that decided to help keep this channel afloat. EU regulated non-psychoactive hemp oil as well as buds and muscle recovery cream for the athletes. No THC. 100% legal, and you get 15% off on all products if you use the code ADIBLATTE. I personally endorse this company due to the high quality of their products. I know the people involved, they're very serious, very knowledgeable, and they know what they're doing. Make this your regular CBD provider, and you'll know what you're doing as well. Just use my code for 20% off, it helps me out a lot, and I know you won't forget it. Anyway, can't blame me for trying. I am the national janitor of Sweden's collective subconscious, and I want you to stay subscribed.